morning, everyone. My name is Kevin Quist, and welcome to the Monday Morning Devotional. My hope is that this time will help to prepare all of us to have a great week in our walk with God. In my uh, quiet times recently, I've been reading through the book of Deuteronomy, and it's been really encouraging. It's helped me to understand in a new way that God is in control, and uh, as long as we continue to obey Him and trust in Him and love Him, He is well able to take care of us in every and any situation. In chapter 24, and I'm not going to read all through this, but in verses 17 to 22, Moses commands the people four times to look after the foreigner, the fatherless, and the widow. In the first part, he talks about that in the context of not depriving them of justice. And then in the second part, he talks about when they take in the harvest, don't gather everything, but leave something for the foreigner and the, the fatherless and the widow. Two times in this section of scripture, he commands them to remember that they themselves were slaves in the land of Egypt. Now, God could have simply given them this command and expected them to, to take care of weak people uh, and left it at that. But instead, he gives them a context of what they themselves had experienced their years in Egypt. And certainly that must have been very difficult. They must have been perplexed and felt powerless and defenseless and, and maybe confused. And certainly they must have cried out to God many times to free them. And yet God didn't do that uh, according to the timing that they would have liked. And while they were there and going through that, they probably weren't thinking, this is so great because God is teaching us such awesome things that eventually uh, the people after us will be able to apply when they need to take care of people in weak situations. They weren't thinking like that. Yet God had a plan. He had a purpose. Today, the coronavirus is spreading around the world, and we may be feeling exactly the same. Powerless, defenseless, what is going on? I'm not in control of my life anymore. I can't do what I want to do. And maybe even we have prayed to God that he would take away this the, the, the virus going around. And, and maybe we're kind of confused by the fact that it hasn't ended just like we would want it to. Yet we have to understand that today, just like thousands of years ago with the Israelites, God has his own purpose. He has his own plan. My question for you today is, what are you learning? in this situation? What is God teaching you individually in your character, in your faith, in your walk with God? You know, for me, I feel like God has taught me to take my prayer life to a, a whole new level. I've been given so much more time to pray than I had before. And I've learned lessons about trusting in God because there's so much that I cannot do that I have to rely on God to do. And I've learned to reach out to people in ways that I never would have imagined doing were I not put in this situation. So again, what is God teaching you? I think that it would be a tragedy to come to the end of the situation and simply wipe our brows and say, wow, it's great that it's over and now we can get back to living the way that we want to, being Christians the way that we want to, not learning the lessons that God has in mind. So my encouragement this week is to dig deep in the Bible. Really let God teach you and disciple your heart. Draw close to God in prayer so that we are learning the things that God wants us to through this experience and not wasting this valuable opportunity. Pray that everyone has a great week. Thank you so much for being with me.